Hey everyone, this is Rick. I want to show how I replace a cover and put the staples back in. For a Silver Age X-Men, this is X-Men 4, this is the third one in this series. I mended the cover with uh, mending tape. Yes, I'm fully aware there are other ways of doing it. This is how I did it. I hope you liked the video and if you could please do me the small favor of subscribing if you haven't yet. I'm at, I think, 4,975 subscribers at the time of this recording and I would appreciate it. I could get 25 more. That'd be great. So anyway, enjoy the video and have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye. So we're going to take our staple tool here. We're going to take our, some of our staples. I don't know if you can see them on camera. And we're going to use this staple tool to form to, by putting it through these holes, which is almost the right size here. But we're going to force it through those holes. And that makes sure it's the right size. We look on the other side here, say, oh hey, it's not quite poking straight up and down. So it's not quite exactly uh, perpendicular mm -hmm. to this plane. It's hard to do this on camera. But so I'm going to um, I'm gonna just go back to one. I'm just gonna make sure that these are straight exactly up and down here. So they'll feed nicely through the book and then this line in the back helps to keep it in the form and then we push it back out and I put it on my little magnet there you know sort of like these little magnets keep them keeps me from losing them and then I do the next book so same deal we're just gonna size this up this is a different staple though see how this staple is longer on one side and shorter on the other it's more of a challenge certainly so I'm going to force this through these holes but it is a uh... man this guy is really off it's not gonna want to go I might have to hmm I may have to use a different staple because I, this one's going to need a lot of finagling to get through there. I'll try it, but I don't think this one's going to work. I think it's malformed in a way that uh, doesn't work, so I'm going to try to straighten this out here. I just want these staples to be a matched set if I can. And I'm going to see if this fits in this hole properly. That'll be the determining factor if I can get it to fit in here. And you see how it isn't quite a fit. You see that? It's not quite. I'm going to use one of my stock staples here from another book. This is another X-Men staple from history. And I'm going to line this guy up using the tool which will be a lot easier it's less malformed I like to buy coverless books if I can find them and then I just harvest the staples and clean them and keep them. there we go that's gonna be a, a better fit I suspect and I'm gonna make the staple prongs a little more parallel for easy assembly push that out now I'm going to take this again and say, okay, what are you, are you going to fit this time, little stinker? And let's see, and I'll bet you that it does. And yeah, that's going to be a good fit. So we, again, with a little bit less trepidation about the cover slipping, because we got one set of staples, and we're going to fish it around the inside. We're going to try it here, make sure that this works. Is it working? Just gonna make sure that that fits in there just right. And it is not fitting perfectly, so I gotta make sure that there's a alignment here of the book on the outside. Oh yeah, it's going now, okay. I got the top one in. So I'm gonna work this around. And if you can't see from, obviously from my perspective, the outside, this was coming out that way. And I'm going to fish this around through the bottom, which is not my normal way. I usually 
from the bottom to the top, so it's a little awkward for me. I don't have as much practice doing it this way. And I'm gonna work that staple into the bottom hole. And we will force it back up in here. I've done a bit sort of at an angle so that I can fit it in here properly. Come on, you little stinker. Fit in there properly. I'm gonna have to uh, push this up in the bottom, right? I'm not quite lined up. It's gonna take me a little bit of work here to get this guy. I have to kind of look at what I'm doing here to get this through. Found it. Found it. Just takes a little bit of work sometimes. And then again on the inside here, making sure that we see their staple. I'm going to line this baby up. And I'm going to push the bottom tie up and down. And then I'm going to. You feel it, you can feel it tighten. If I'm moving this top one and wiggling, you can feel when it gets tight in that groove there. And then you can uh, use it to push this down. I have to scoot it back a little bit because it doesn't quite, just like the other one, it's a little longer than that gap. And then we, uh, we're done. I'm gonna pull my paper clips off. I might give this book a quick press to clean it up, but it's gonna be now done and my friends welcome to x-men number four with a new improved cover right there it looks like this on the inside hooray we have another X-Men book to mate to cover here. There's a lot of space around this these staple holes, so I'm not gonna have to make sure that it's lined up too much on the cover. And so I'm not gonna have to, and I don't have any holes to poke through with the tape, so I'm not just gonna use my awl here. I'm just gonna probe and make sure that these holes are lined up, that the pages didn't get misaligned, and they didn't. You can see that the all is poking through there. It just you never know. They could be just off the tiniest bit, and then the pages won't line up. There's, that's working good. And I'm just doing the other two. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see the exterior view. Just having insurance that everything is lined up properly. It's just me being anal about it. So I'm going to then line the book up here. Stack it and make sure it's proper. The cover's a little smaller, or cut a little differently on this book, which is as expected. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this staple here. This one's a little weird. If you see, I have to make sure that this is perpendicular and parallel as possible. Say that three times fast. I'm going to uh, put the staple holes in here. This one's a little wide for the holes in this tool. Is it? Nope, that's not, I was wrong. It's just a little crooked. I thought that's unusual. There we go. So now this is, you see how this it naturally is kind of like this? That makes it really hard to feed in the, see, the, see how it's not straight there? It's really hard to feed, so I'm gonna going to straighten that out until it's not so hard to feed. Then I'm gonna do my same trick of pushing it around from the inside of the book through the outside, which is what I do. Everybody's got their own way of doing stuff, so I don't blame anybody for not 
my way. So let's try this again. And come here, you little joker. Go through there. And it's, I can feel it work on the outside of the book. My hand's on the opposite side holding this staple. And I'm going to, I'm keeping my thumb here on the inside because this helps me, I keep tension on it from the other side. I'm going to now feed it through this book from the other side. <clears throat> I think I'm show you. I normally don't look this way, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing. As I'm feeding, I'm, I just have to feed it through the upper holes, which we need to now find. A very brittle, very old book. And make sure that we get it through there just like that. You can see that it helped us fit it nicely. So then we will take either side of this staple, it can be the top or the bottom, and put the tool here, line it up, and we just fold it. You can round it too. I have that little rounding thing. I don't, these staples didn't look like that. So not doing it. But here, I'm fitting again for this just to make sure it's lined up nicely. Come on. Come on. I'm making sure I secure it so that it folds neatly down by pressing the bottom staple into this. There we go, got it. It wasn't, I didn't feel it, it was very tight in there, so now it is. There we go, that one's good. And uh, I'm doing this on a soft, backing so that the staple doesn't create wrinkles in the spine. Not that it would in this book is basically devastated, but um, we are going to put this other staple here. Now this one's a bugger. I don't know that this guy is... This is so off. You see this? Oh, I don't you see that. Sorry. You can see this staple is not... going to line up well here. I can try this, but it, I don't think it's going to work. So we might have to harvest another staple from somewhere else. And I can do that. I'm just going to make a check in the whole fit here. Because that one is just really off. Remember, If you remember from a previous video, it had missed or gone through several of the pages. It was a miss stamping of the staple. And I'm going to just... Uh, zoom in so you can see a little better. Same same deal. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get this joker through there, but I will try. Come on, little fella. Okay, that's good. Hang around. I expect to run into problems right about here. Because it wasn't the right size to fit, but I might be able to work it through at an angle such that it gets through here better. Let's see if I can get this guy. What's going to happen? Is it going to make it? I don't think so, but I'll try. See, I'm hoping I can come in at it at an angle and then fish it in there, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Nope. isn't the same size as these holes. Um, I have a couple of options now. I can harvest another one or I can try to fix this. This wasn't trash either way so because I can't really use it in any book honestly. Let me try this here and see how far I am off. This will tell me what I have to do to get in there. Okay that is that's quite a bit off, you can see, from this hole to there. So I am going to bend it straight, and this is going to fatigue it a bit. But I'll try to use all original x staples. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to then 
make a bend right here. This tells me where to bend it. Right there. There we go. Two, and then it should be okay because it hasn't really been fatigued here. I might have to put this in the furnace and anneal it to make sure that this works properly. But let's get the holes lined up. Because I, I worry that I may have worried this a little too much. It might have work hardening. <clears throat> so that worked. Come on out of there, you little devil. Okay. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, well, that's a lot closer. Let's see what we can do. And we're going to put the straight end through first because that will be a lot easier to push through a holes here. All right. Cool. Come around. Got it. I think I got it. I do. I got it. Okay. Little joker. Now I'm going to take my staple tool. I'm going to turn it this way here. And I'm going to push you down here. goes on this guy here. Come on. I gotta make these divots. I think oh that's the wrong side ding dong. I'm gonna say I have to make these divots deeper in the future. No, I don't. They're actually just facing the wrong way, a dummy. Okay. There's that and then we take off our paper clips. The book is ready to go. Thank you men book it's a little misaligned because it's just a little smaller but it works and we are we are done son it's it's little it's detached on the bottom as we thought it might be but we cannot help that in this case all right we'll do one more here we got to clean this off we have another x min this is 25 yeah same story so we're just getting lots of lessons here and cover attachments. So this guy is uh, lined up, lined up. There's the beast. I wish I could tell you how good this book smells to open and how good it feels to feel it and touch it and understand its history and just give it a nice big smells so good. Oh man. And here's this guy. It's a pretty good book. Okay. And we're going to line this up. And I'm going to put these paper clips lightly in an area that's not, that's a little lighter color if I can choose one. If I have it, my druthers, because I don't want to, uh, have to press it out again later. So I'm just going to uh, do that and we're going to put the staples back in. I think by now many of you have the system down so I'm not going to go over everything in as much detail but this is what we do. We're just going to check here. I already checked the hole sizing and that pokes through just fine. The alignment of the book so just making sure the staple fits the holes that we know to be aligned and then we are going to fit this guy through here um, looks like whoops hello I'm struggling to get it through the cover as well there it goes got it 
there we are coming up just for your sake the other side here and then we're coming in oh darn it I went all the way through can I recover from that I might be able to I did I did recover okay <clears throat> All right, so same deal, dupe, line them up, push it down, other side, cut out down, okay, I'm going to get his cousin over here with my last, and by the way, these are, uh, I don't know if you can see that, these are cleaned staples. I polished these in my electro cleaner. Are they looking good? And some little fellas. This one's gonna work. Okay, that one's going through just fine. And we are gonna same deal, work it around. This, you're probably no doubt getting bored of seeing by now. now feel this I'm feeling it by keeping I have a finger on the inside to keep tension on the staple and it gives me some feedback into where the staple points are and there we go you can line it up it, it's hard to explain but you can sort of feel when you're gonna line up properly with the okay there you go now that I understand where down is on this particular cover I can apply pressure what I mean by that is that down is not on the spine it's a little bit towards the front where these holes are located all right you go in here and you your cousin is going to come in there did I lose it again It makes it trickier when the staple holes are not on the spine itself. And so that one was tricky, but it's okay, we got it. And we're done. So, got that. Link 25 is fully attached and ready to rock. So, we're good. We are good in the hood for this particular book. Okay, great, we are all done. Please accept my humble apologies that so much of that video was off screen. I didn't realize it at the time. It, I had a different field of view in my phone, which was, a, which was a, which was a monitor for my camera, and I didn't realize the camera didn't see everything my phone did. So mea culpa on that one, and I'll make sure I fix that in the future. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, take care. See you around. Bye-bye.